Well, hello there. Uh, my name is Dylan, also known as Liquid Solid Vapor. I'll be your sorceress this evening. I just had to play Pia uh, the other day, so I did a little bit and tried to do a little, short little video series. Um, this is one of the starting areas, and I'm gonna run through a couple quests here uh, and try to keep it short and just see what happens. Uh, one of the main reasons I'm making this video is just to show my friend that I think this game might be cool and that I'm interested in this. So we'll see how that goes. I think I'm just gonna go around and kill some of these big elk type enemies. Looking to get some Noric hides. So we'll see if they if they have any interest in fighting me. One thing I do like about this game so far is it is an action MMORPG. And so you'll see here in a minute. Right now I'm casting a spell that's gonna regenerate my uh, mana over time. And then kind of have my basic uh, starting spells. There's you know, basic fire projectiles. And you see that threat range, that threat box there? I was able to use a skill uh, to, to back step and, and, and I sneak in there. I didn't dodge that. There is some sort of, there's a way to dodge attacks. Um, there is a little bit of that in Final Fantasy XIV. Except you just had to walk or run out of uh, the threat range. Where this actually have almost a roll button. I don't know if every class has that. I know the sorcerers get a bad at level 2. Um, I just like that, that aspect of it. It's kind of cool. I have a roll button. 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 I can generally be able to dodge the area again. I played a few other MMOs in my time. I started with Final Fantasy XI. Uh, played a little bit of World of Warcraft for a while and also played Final Fantasy XIV. I have to say, I'm liking what I'm seeing here just because it was more action oriented. I got kind of tired of uh, Final Fantasy XIV and the whole style of country. It's just, it's a little bit different than I, I'm used to. Uh, Final Fantasy XI was pretty awesome. I did play a Paladin in both online Final Fantasy games. Yay! Yeah, I believe I finished that quest there, so we're going to go turn that in and get the next quest. And I think we get a cutscene, too. Okay, I, I played Paladin in both Final Fantasy XI and Final Fantasy XIV. And one of the major gripes is Paladin really just does not have any, uh, you know, holy or versus undead Can I help? bonuses that you're going to find in uh, other games. Let's get it done. Alright, gonna get some new stuff. Let's do it. Head east, and look for piglings clustered around a set of trees. Vecus the Wicked has a thing for piglings, I guess. Let him pick on something his own size. Or at least something that's not a pig. Doesn't hurt to have some, uh, you know, script cutscenes and have that, uh, you know, the voiceover. If you actually look to the top left, you can see uh, Velkis running around there, or whatever his name is. Um, I just had to go the other way first because I'm still getting used to the UI. If you look on the mini map to the right there, there is a, a, a blue orb with a one on it, and that's actually where the spawn is going to be for the enemy I'm supposed to fight. Um, I didn't quite see that, so I was checking out the icon here for the, the magic trainer, so I'm going to check that out for a second. But like I said, the main gripe I had in Final Fantasy XIV was, was that the Paladin didn't feel like a Paladin. It felt like I was just playing a tank class. There was no plethora of cure spells. I, th I believe I had cure, Lessons are never easy. poison, uh, and Lessons raise. The core. You can't use raise in battle, so that was kind of useless. You know, outside the battle I could raise here and there. Usually in dungeons, though, you just port to the beginning anyway, so it was, it was kind of a... Didn't really use that skill and it just didn't feel like a holy warrior and that's kind of what a paladin is supposed to feel like and so that was always kind of frustrating for me in that game um and plus in general i just didn't really like the aggro system you could have to heavily rely on uh, other people in your group to attack the monsters in the right order 
you can label them uh, with a numbering system, but I noticed most of the time my fellow players wouldn't follow mine or use a good uh, tactic for uh, numbering the enemies so we could defeat them in a timely manner. So it's a little refreshing to see uh, an action MMORPG. So I'm going to try to play this game for a little while and just make short videos here and there, do a couple quests. Um, they just put Terra on Steam and it is growing in popularity. You uh, want to be strong? To the website, then practice me. Up to Life is like 10 an edge. times the amount of players it's every week. So that's kind of interesting to me. Uh, it's, this game is about three years old. Um, doesn't take a whole whole crazy computer to run it. Uh, although I am running it on a quad core with a one gigabyte video card uh, through NVIDIA. NVIDIA 450 GTS, I believe. That being said, I figured if it's on Steam, it's kind of gaining some popularity. I said, hey, what the heck? Let's, you know, let's, let's give it a shot. And... Uh, I've only played it for about an hour, but I'm actually pretty interested in it so far. So I probably will continue to play it. I'm also looking forward to uh, Elder Scrolls Online for the PS4 that comes out on Tuesday. The night. I'm gonna scrounge up some cash to go pick that one up. I played the beta for it and I thought it, it, you know, it was pretty good. I have a friend that's going to be playing it. Probably. So right here for some reason, I believe it's a fault of one, this other player. So really, he actually cleaned the spawn. So I'll find him again. Which is weird though, because I was able to get some loot out of that tree. I know I was actually free, but it might be some sort of shared loot system. And I got some new stuff. Awesome. Let's check it out. I would love to put on some new armor because the starting armor is absolutely horrible. As you expect. Standard issue shoes. Stump thoppers for Lancer Berserker and Gunner only. Too bad. Maybe next time. I know I get some new armor when I finish this quest, I believe, so. Although I think I forgot to turn it back on, so I'll start with that on the next one. Looks like he respawns pretty quickly as he's going to the first quest in the game, so I'm going to attack him again. So you see that Magma Bomb 1 spacebar? That comes on as long as I can the spacebar and we'll have pass that. Um, that spell over and over again. And something kind of... Something mentioned it and I didn't get quite what it was saying. So I just that backstep chain after it work. Uh, they just there. Can I get a bunch of other stuff? Oh, can't wear those. Don't think I can wear Bark of Vegas or Pruning Gloves. Yeah, I can't wear any of it, unfortunately. Lame. That is no good. I'll have to sell it or keep it for another character, I suppose. She is so sad. That is just so terrible. Can't get any any gear for this, you know, little bunny cat person. It's terrible. All right, let's turn that question. Let's get it done. Well fought, sorcerer. Might not seem like much, but we all soldiers can really depend on blah 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 blah, and then no text. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this quick one. Um, Gonna probably make another one here pretty quickly. It's another short one, just going through a couple quests, kind of learning the, the gameplay. Um, hopefully, this can be kind of a fun series, though, and we can kind of see how it plays out. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, later on.